What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Head Coach Ross, from the Attack Gym Street Warrior, in Gio Uhuru Kipura. As you know, in Gio Uhuru is a Swahili term. It means the way of freedom. It's my, it signifies my family's specific form of Kipura, which I am the head coach of. Kipura is the ancient fighting system from the Kingdom of Congo, which uh, was miscalled Capoeira by the Portuguese, Brazilians, and, and many other Europeans uh, subsequently. Okay, let me dive right into this, because uh, this is the reason why I needed to uh, have this, make this particular video. Okay, I received about now 15 emails on the same topic, and that is this. Uh, a lot of people are still boggled by the idea that, you know, I throw punches and whatnot in my expression of uh, Kipura. Well, here's a news flash for you. There will never, ever, ever be a fighting system involving black people at any time, for any reason, when you won't catch these hands. So let me just get straight to you about that. I mean, before I even talk to you about things like going and doing your research, and even doing a Google a Google sweep and going to Wikipedia and let's say, hey, you know, cop look for a, 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 a list of capoeira techniques. Wikipedia, then. One of the first things you'll see is that, that even cardio capoeira researchers will tell you that the art is an eclectic art. And it includes, as vital components of its foundation, uh, dambe, kalunga, uh, nuba wrestling, which dambe, it, you know, the, give you the short, shallow version. Dambe is a weapon-oriented, kickboxing-oriented self-defense system. It is, this is before it's been diluted into a sport, you know, aspect, which is more popular today. In the sportive aspect, it has two primary expressions: uh, bare knuckle punching with hand, with a with a single hand wrap, usually on the right hand, or sometimes a boxing glove on the right hand. And the other is primarily bare knuckle kickboxing, complete with with standing grappling. Okay. Now, this alone, as part of the matrix of Kipura from the people, we Africans, who created boxing, who created kickboxing, who, who created all forms of grappling, this alone ought to, it ought to give you pause and have you realize, hey, you know what? The fighting system we're talking about is a full spectrum fighting system with all forms of weapons, use of guns, knives, swords, clubs, bows and arrows. In fact, uh, the, the, the Nuba warriors are extremely famous for use of the bow. Uh, in fact, they're, they are frequently referred to as Ta Seti, the land of the bow. They are the greatest archers of all time. So, I mean, stop and use your brain. Before I even say any of this, you know, before you even go into any research in the academic realm, just stop and think. When was the last time you ever seen anybody run up on a black person who was, uh, who, def who defended him or herself and they didn't catch these hands. The phrase catch these hands is so common and so specific to black people that I ought to tell you about our predilections to go right upside your cranium with these hands. Come on, man. I expect more of you. Use, use your own common sense. If your teacher told you that there's an African fighting system or a fighting system that featured black people in any way, shape, or form for any extended period of time, that didn't use their hand, your teacher's an idiot. More, even, 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 even more damning, you're not, you cannot be the brightest person in the world, or you can't be making the brightest, you know, decision in the world. I'm not going to say that you're not the brightest person in the world. I'm saying you cannot be making the brightest decision in the world if you believe it. Come on. Top 20 boxes of all time. What color are they? Most of them are what? All right, then. Top 20 wrestlers of all time. What color are they? Most of them are what? All right, who's the greatest gi grappler of all time? It's not Hickson Gracie. Love that guy, but it's not him. It's Teddy, Teddy Rene, a judoka. All right, who's the winningest, championship winningest uh, wrestler of, of all time? It's probably Jordan Burroughs, brother, USA wrestler right here. See where I'm going with this? Okay. I, I don't really know what else to say to you. In this regard, if you believe that people like us who are the 
defending ourselves on the streets with... What's that, brother? How you doing? All right, now. Who are defending ourselves on the streets now or for prize money would automatically go to our hands. What makes you think that we would not utilize our hands, our grappling, our grabbing hair and flinging you to the ground and kicking you while you're down there, and any other of the creative things that we tend to do, when we are faced with defending ourselves, you know, in against the most heinous, the most horrible, the most terrible form of, of oppression and repression, systematic dis human denigration in the history of humanity, which is European transatlantic slavery. Come on, man. Come on, think this through, all right? Come on. So, if you're not learning these techniques, it's not because I am creating something that didn't exist. It's because you and your teacher are perpetuating a systematic approach to destroy the original African art because the Brazilian authorities and the European authorities fear the art because that art and all of its cognates is precisely why Africans are out of chattel slavery today and have literally throughout the combined powers of Europe and everybody else in the process of doing so. So, if you were an oppressor and you wanted to, to maintain or reacquire even greater oppressor oppressive power over those whom you seek to oppress, the last thing you would want them to be doing is to maintain or, or, or even refine their expertise in the kind of fighting systems that threw you out in the first place, right? Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. That's why you're not learning anything not one single thing that's legit insofar as self-defense is concerned, insofar as language, history, culture is concerned, insofar as human interaction is concerned regarding your cardio capoeira, yes, cardio capoeira, and if you want to have any hope of getting the authentic, legit skills and authentic, legit history, you have to come to people like me. And there are extremely few of us extremely few of us and right now I am the leading and only full scope self-defense instructor of this African art on the planet I will give you the history I'll give you the language I'll give you the spirituality I will tell you make the connections that you don't even realize that you've been asking yourself questions about or you've given up asking questions about for instance there are those who will re repeatedly tell you that the African fighting systems don't use animal styles. Okay, if that's the case, then how come so many of the African warriors themselves carry animal names? Cool snake, green snake. There are leopard societies and and uh, animal fighting systems all throughout Africa. Kipura is based upon the movements of the rooster, and as you do, and as you uh, delve deeper into it, you discover the movements are based upon, also upon the leopard, the snake, and any other form of agile, intelligent, dexterous, capable animal. Sounds like an animal style to me, especially when you couple it with the lessons of the Orisha, the Inkisi, and the various other entities of the motherland who, surprise, surprise, have spheres of dominance reflecting those particular animals. Come on now. If you want to learn the real truth, commence with your boy. All right? Check me out on my website, googlesites.com slash attacksjimstreetwarriorcapoeira. Subscribe, please, to my YouTube. I put free videos up that, that contains information and knowledge that nobody else on earth has. If there is anybody who has any doubts or any questions about anything that I've said, particularly those of you who are from Cardio Capoeira and are so misguided as to think that I am wrong about anything, one little atom of anything, step up, challenge me, ask your questions, show your, show your documentation. I'll be more than happy to thrash your, your, your conclusions. Respectfully, respectfully, I'm not angry at you, but I will atomically annihilate anything you say to the contrary of what I've just stated. Because there are thousands and thousands of years of proof beyond any form of rational debate 
that confirmed what I'm talking about. So, I hope that's helped you out. I hope we don't have to keep doing this over and over again. All right? It's your boy, Head Coach Ross, and Tax Gym, Street Boy, and Gio Huru Kipura. Asante Sana. Amani. Ashe.